What's going on everybody? My name is Hydrus and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We just got the Twitter previews for the new Dokkan Awakenings for the free to play Int Goku and the free to play AGL Hercule, as well as that did show off the new partner super attack animations and how that is. And we also had some information for how the free to play Int Goku's partner super attack actually works, as well as we do have the animations, which I'll be playing on the side of the screen for you guys. You can check those out for the free to play uh, unit awakenings for their super attack animations, as well as the exchange animation and stuff like that. So you can check that out right there on the side of the screen as we go on but we also have the translation shout outs to Goresh you can check out the link in the description down below for Goresh make sure to go sub to him and follow him on Twitter but here we go we have the new special unit super attack SS3 Goku translation so the new free to play Goku uh the new free to play Int Goku does Dokkan Awaken into this Super Saiyan 3 Goku and he de-transforms uh, something like that he de-transforms into this base form Goku who does the super attack as well as this base form Goku version is what actually does the partner super if i'm not mistaken as well so let's go ahead and get into that as well as uh he uh, before i go ahead and get into the other translations i will mention that the d transformation conditions are after three turns have passed and hp is 80 percent or below so this guy will go from ss3 into this base form after three turns and hp is 80 percent or below so let's go ahead and go over the uh, the translations here. Super Saiyan 3 Goku prepared for the final battle. So leader scale is final trump card category key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%, or int, key, int type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is Kamehameha, causes supreme damage, lowers defense. Uh, his passive is Super Saiyan 3 in the flesh. Attack and defense plus 80%, gain an additional attack and defense up to 30%. The higher the HP, the greater the boost. So basically, if you had 100%, you're getting up to 30% attack and defense as well. And then lift transformation when conditions are met. His links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, Shattering Limit, Supreme Power. And his categories are Majin Buu Saga, Super Saiyans. Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyan 3, Kamehameha, and Final Trump Card. And then his D transformation is Goku. Super Attack is Spirit Bomb, causes Supreme Damage, and Super Class Allies attack plus 20% for one turn. And then the Unit Super Attack is Super Spirit Bomb, causes immense damage, and Super Class Allies attack and defense plus 20% for one turn. So the Unit Super Attack is basically his his original super attack except it's the super spirit bomb obviously named differently but it also increases the damage modifier from supreme to immense and also with this partner super attack or unit super attack also gives the original super attacks buff and and, and instead it actually added defense so the Goku super attack is attack plus 20% for one turn, but the unit super attack gives attack and defense plus 20 per attack and defense plus 20% for one turn. So it does add the defense plus 20% onto there as well and also increases the damage modifier and also to use the partner super attack. It is activated if there is an ally whose name includes Hercule that is in the Majin Buu Saga category attacking in the same turn. So you have to have a Hercule that's in the Majin Buu Saga category on the same attacking turn as the Goku for the unit super attack condition to be met. And then you can actually activate the partner super attack, which I believe based on the video, as you can see on screen when it does get the partner super attack, I do believe it's automatically activated once you actually pick up the key for that unit. If I'm not mistaken, it is actually all already automatically activated for you unless there's something missing from the video that actually is a manual activation but from what this video shows it is a automatic activation so the passive for the goku is also everyone's assistance attack and defense plus 80 percent gain an additional attack plus 20 percent per rainbow key sphere obtained attacks effective against all types if rainbow key sphere is collected so if you just get at least one rainbow key sphere you're effective against all types attack and defense plus 80 percent same passive as the the other goku and he also does and it also changes to additional attack plus 20 percent per rainbow keys for team so more keys for more rainbow key spheres you're getting the more attack plus 20 percent and then also if you at least get one rainbow key sphere you're going to be getting that 20 percent and also super effective against all types his links are golden warrior super saiyan kamehameha over in a flash and limit breaking form become saiyan lineage uh, saiyan warrior race all in the family prepare for battle and experience fighters so those are the links that actually change Let's go ahead and go over the Hercule and Boo. As you can see, it, the AGL free to play Hercule Dokkan awakens into Hercule and Boo good. And then it exchanges into the Boo good here. And let's go ahead and go over the translations. Uh, Hercule, Majin Boo good, determined camaraderie. Uh, leader skill, Majin Buu Saga category, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%. His super attack is the champ splitted dance, raises defense and causes extreme damage and lowers attack. Uh, passive is my vigorous power medium chance to evade enemies attack 
Uh, reduces damage received by 30% when HP is 50% or above. Uh, Majin Buu Saga category allies key plus one and attack and defense plus 10%. Exchange with Buu good when conditions are met. And the exchange conditions are exchange the Majin Buu good during the next attacking turn once damage has been sustained five times throughout the course of the battle. Editors know I assume this is talking strictly about the this unit. So uh, from what this means, I believe that you have to be attacked at least five times throughout the course of the battle and then he get exchange then they exchange into boo and then uh, his links are world tournament champion world uh, world tournament champion champion strength hero money 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 bravery supreme power and shattering the limit categories are majin boo saga world tournament earthling and saviors uh, majin boo good so this is the exchange unit now the super attack is innocence cannon raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers attack the passive is the forking of good and evil attack and defense plus 70 percent majin buu saga category allies key plus two and attack and defense plus 20 percent the links are everything changes everything but shattering the limit changes to majin the innocence inf infinite regeneration revival master of magic and the wall standing tall so that's the boo there and then also this boo this Herculean Boo and this Goku both receive easy A's because it does show the fact that they do get the SA modifier higher up on the card previews. They actually didn't show the, the easy A's in this preview, but they will be getting easy A's as well, most likely in the extreme Z area. And then also we have this LR Goku SBR reward Goku that we got a long time ago with the SBR stages. This guy is going to be getting an extreme Z awakening once the new SBR stages come to JP. On global global is also getting the first 10 stages of extreme SBR they won't be getting all 20 so global you'll be getting the first 10 stages JP will getting be getting an additional 10 stages so JP will have a total of 20 while global will have the 10 I don't know why they don't just add all 20 at once it makes no sense why they don't just do it I get they want content for later but at the same time it's like just put all 20 in there it's actually stupid that you have this the missions associated with the new SBR stages will grant special skill orbs specifically for super class, extreme class, and category. So in SB, in extreme SBR, I believe the missions, you can get uh, some skill orbs there. And there's that. Then also, there we go. Extreme Super Battle Road is coming to Global. It'll be 10 stages. It'll be the first 10 stages of, super ba of Extreme Super Battle Road. And then also we have uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage as well. Uh, stage 10 is coming. And then we also have the uh, the ultimate final battle. This is where they will Dokkan Awaken. And this story event will be updated for those new stages. So you can get those medals and stuff like that for this event. So that's that. That's all the translations I have for now. Unless there's something missing here that I, I didn't see. I don't, I don't think there's anything missing here. I think we got everything. I think so. But yeah, they, see, they, they will easy and stuff like that. So that is everything. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. As well as, what do you guys think of these, uh, these new free-to-play units? And as well as... It was leaked. I'm going to say this in this video here at the end. There is, it was leaked that there is a possibility of a partner super attack LR Vegeta that will be a partner super with Goku. So there is a chance that there will be a partner super attack with Vegeta. Makes sense in a, in a, in a way, but at the same time, uh, we haven't gotten those previews yet. Whether we get them tonight or we get them tomorrow at the time I'm recording this video, I don't know. Most likely is looking like tomorrow, which tomorrow would be, or technically later tonight, the 13th. Uh, later tonight on the 13th, so it actually is 5 a.m. for me right now. So probably around uh, around... 11 or something like that EST maybe later uh, we'll probably get the LR Fujita preview and then the data download will happen after that so there is that let me know what you guys think of these free to play units are you guys excited for them are you guys excited to try out this new partner super mechanic it is basically what we thought it would be the partner supers do have conditions they do have conditions and they do have uh, extra modifiers within them they actually do change modifiers as well so that's actually really interesting and definitely what I thought it would be and also it does seem like they are automatically activated but again I could be missing something there could be something that wasn't in the preview video that we didn't see so don't know that yet but there will be that coming make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new click that bell to turn on notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day